Greetings. If you listen to a lot of motivational and spiritual speaking and writing, you'll hear people talk about the ego and how the ego is so terrible. The ego you need to get rid of. You need to smash down the ego. Now, it's very interesting. Now, I personally don't want to smash down my ego entirely. I do see that there's a problem if you have too much ego, and sometimes I do have too much ego. But I don't think ego in and of itself is an inherently bad thing. Now, one time somebody asked Wayne Dyer about why are you saying that it's bad to get fame and then here you are writing books. And that's a very good question. Now, I've no noticed that a lot of motivational speakers have organizations named after themselves, yet they have a lot of rhetoric about how you need to be a servant leader and you can't be motivated by ego. Even oftentimes the Christian ones are the biggest about this because you need to be humble, 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 humble they say. So I think it's interesting that you name something after yourself, yet you say don't have an ego. So I don't think it's a matter of not naming things after yourself as inherently bad. Now, I have as big an ego as anyone, but I don't want to name things after myself. I don't get in the habit of doing that. I don't know why people do. I, I've started organizations and I get a big ego that I started organizations, but I don't name them after myself. So I think this is interesting. Now, some motivational speakers talk about how if we don't like something in the world, it's a reflection of ourselves. It's something we don't like about ourselves. Sometimes people say that if you are going against something really strong, that means that's something you don't like about yourself. Deepak Chopra says the moral crusader has the darkest shadow. And oftentimes that's very true. So what makes me wonder is why are these motivational speakers so concerned about ego? Why are they going after ego, 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 ego? Is it part of themselves they don't like? Don't they like to see that egotistical part of themselves come out? Now, Earl Nightingale has a good way to put it, and I like his approach. He has a short audio program called the Ego Empathy Balance, where he says that good salesmen have some ego, but not too much ego. If they have too much ego, they're ruthless. But if they don't have any ego, they're not going to be a good salesman. So they need to have a balance, he says, between ego and empathy. I think that's totally right. Interestingly enough, just today, Zig Ziglar's son, Tom Ziglar, had a quote from Zig about how salespeople need to have some ego, but not too much of an ego. And I think that is true. So I think an ego is perfectly fine, just as long as you're a good person. I think if you want to get fame or power, use it to serve others. Like Jim Rohn put it, there's nothing wrong with becoming the best just as long as you serve others. He says it's enlightened self-interest. Indeed, indeed. That's the